Neil, of course, the news of the day, the acquisition of Enos Cantor. Why is he such a good fit for this group? Well, now we have two guys that can get a double-double in their sleep. So, you know, obviously we like Enos. Um, you know, we gave him a max offer sheet, you know, back in 2015. Um, he's an even better player today, you know, than he was then. And I think he's a great partner with Nurk, um, you know, in terms of really maximizing the 48 minutes at the center position. Um, his style of play, I think sometimes you bring guys in late in the year, the team has to adjust to a new player, new style of play. I think, I think Ennis fits in seamlessly. I mean, he really does. I don't think we're going to have to adjust much for Terry in terms of how he plays with Nurk out there at the five and how, how he'll play with Ennis. So you got Ennis, you got Rodney, you got Scal. I'd say it's safe to say that you've really beefed up your roster. You know, I'd like to think so. Look, we, you know, we've got to give this roster the best chance to succeed. Um, you know, we've been really successful to date, but, you know, the, the West is getting tighter. I mean, we're in a virtual tie right now with Houston. Um, they're playing before us, then we play. We'll see where that shakes out at the end of the night. But, you know, trying to maintain home court advantage, you know, trying to be a factor in the playoffs. And, you know, we had some holes there. We had to solidify. We have some guys that are a little bit dinged up. And, you know, we don't have the luxury of being cavalier about, you know, having the depth that we need. You know, last year we went into the playoffs, and I think – we were a little bit too confident we could get out of the first round. And then, you know, we knew we had two juggernauts we were going to run into. And, and as it turned out, you know, we had a couple injuries. We didn't have the depth we needed, and we saw the results. So we really wanted to go into the trade deadline, fortify our bench, uh, make sure we had starting caliber players, not just guys who are bench and role players, but guys that are capable of starting in a playoff environment. We think Rodney and, um, you know, and Enos are both capable of doing that if it came to it. I don't know if you've seen this, but Enos has already changed all of his social media to all Blazers. It seems like he's very excited about coming. Is that true? Yeah, it's great. You know, we were texting with him last night. You know, I really, you know, I appreciate Dame. Um, Dame had a big hand in this. You know, he helped recruit, you know, Enos last night he had, as he had helped us back in 2015. So, um, you know, Dame has a great feel for what we need to compete. And he can kind of see where the gaps are in the roster and where we're a little bit vulnerable. So, um, so Enos is excited. I mean, he was excited back then. You know, um, Oklahoma City did what they needed to do in matching the offer sheet. But, you know, we're hoping that the basketball gods, you know, the karma pays off, right? I mean, he's at the tail end of that max offer sheet, and um, you know, and he's going to finish it up with us. So we hope that we hope that what we did back then results in some positivity for us going into uh, going into our playoff run. Hey, if Dame's excited about Enos, I'm excited about Enos. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually a good barometer, right? So, yeah, no, so he was he was fired up about it. And like I said, I think, you know, we had talked about different buyout candidates. You know, we're not traditionally a buyout destination. Um, it's one of the things I've actually railed against, you know, in different general manager meetings about the inequities of the buyout process. And, you know, I think we got to the point now where if you can't beat them, join them. And we were lucky enough to find some synergy between a player that fits what we need positionally and a guy that holds us in high regard relative to how we treated him a few years back. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate your time, Neil. Yeah.